Hey folks, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. So, we are at the Hamlets, and we need to prepare for our uh, next mission. The problem now is we don't have that many people left that are actually any good. So, we are gonna need some heavy hitters, and the only one that we have is you. And you... You have a tapeworm. And you have 10% minus stun resistance, 1 minus critical. It's not really that interesting. Her, though, on the other hand. Let's see, will we ever use you? Like, ever. Nope. I don't even know why we have her. I think that's a her anyway. Yeah, let's... Actually, let's first let's check what kind of heroes we can recruit. A leaper and a man-at-arms. You're actually unyielding. That gives us resistance to death blows. And you're a slugger. So that's nice. Okay, I think I'll actually get rid of this one. We don't want you anymore. Thank you and goodbye. It is done. Turn yourself now to the condition of those poor devils who remain. Will we ever use you? Actually, we have never used you. You are unyielding. Yeah, no, this one isn't too interesting either, so let's get rid of you. Slumped shoulders, wild eyes, and a stumbling gait. This one is no more good to us. Okay, so who else do we need to bring? I mean, we need... And what is this thing? Oh, well, whatever. Okay, so we need... Deeds. We need a lot of deeds because I think we need deeds for uh, if we want to increase the roaster. Uh, yep. And we need deeds if we want to increase people's armor and weapons. Yep. Or was it? Yeah, it's deeds. Okay. Yeah, we basically need deeds everywhere. Okay, so first of all, let's decide what mission we need to go on. I think I want to do a short one. I have been to the Warrens before. Do we need busts or do we need... Portraits. Actually need portraits. Okay, so let's go on this mission. I believe we got blighted and stuff in this area, so we'll take you. Uh, I guess we'll take you. I think you're, uh, yeah, position three, that's good. And we'll take you. And you. Kind of like the idea of having two, two heavy hitters with me. And even this guy can increase, uh, give the other people some buffs if, if, he needs to. Defend. Bolster. Okay, we'll keep that one. Stun. Yeah, this is good. We'll keep all that. Do we need to change anything on you? Not really. I think it's this guy. We have blinding gas and play grenade. But we do need the... Uh, where is it? Battlefield medication. Just in case people get blighted and stuff. So we'll head over to the guilds. Retrain you. Actually, can we reduce the price? We can reduce the price. Should we reduce the price? 
What else do we need but deeds? Deeds and uh, these things. Okay, so let's let's not. Let's just put in the money as as is right now. Increase you, you. Get rid of that and give that one. What about the rest of you? Can we do something for you? We can increase a few of your skills. This one looks nice. Don't think we'll be using this one. So we'll increase that one. And yeah, sure, this one. Do we need to increase your weapons? I think we do. Yeah. How about you? Okay. And these guys, I think I don't... I can't do anything for them. Self, twin blah blah blah, blah. Minus dodge, minus protects. Not that interesting. But I do want this one with me, so we can remove corpses if need be. Yeah, we're gonna need that one. Not sure which one we'll remove, though. I mean, I guess we can remove this one. That we, we can't increase its damage, but... Probably won't use it. There we go. And remove that one, and that. Add that one. And is there anything here that we want to remove? Yeah, we want to remove this one. I don't think we need that one. But let's remove it just in case. Yeah, this one and this one. Definitely these two. And the rest looks fine. Sort by character class restriction. Sort by rarity. Could use this one, but I don't think it will make much use. I don't think it will be of much use. Actually, you can have this one. No? No, no, you will be using this one and where is it there we go yeah that's good how about you three minus speed Actually, you're the only guy here who has some experience, except except for the Plague Doctor. So you can have this one. And this one. But you... This takes so much time. Sun resist, not really. I guess we can give you this one. Damage versus beast, sure. Let's take that one. You'll have this one, because you have a tendency to miss. And this one. Okay, I'd say I'm fine with this. And let's just check if there's somebody here we want to remove something from. Um, Don't really bother about that guy off guard. Not really. Uh, 
I don't know if compulsive is what made him click on things, but probably was. So let's try to get rid of that one. Uh, yes, and I want you to get rid of your disease. There we go. And the rest looks good. Okay, so let's embark. Head on this mission. Gather some provisions. Don't remember what we need to take, but for a few maybe. For a few, two of you, two of you. One key, some torches. Don't think we need more than eight since this is a short mission. Uh, let's bring all. Twelve. That's fine. I don't think we need holy water down here. I don't think... I don't remember a single thing that we used holy water on down here. So I'm gonna ignore that. Maybe one more key, just in case. Okay, let's embark. To prosecute our war against the swine, we must first scout their squalid homes. I guess we can actually ignore this room. Let's yes, head over here. No, we'll probably finish the map. Okay, let's start by heading down here. And do we touch this? Let's try to use this on this. Okay, that didn't work. Then let's just try to touch it. Ugh. Come on. Fine. And a trap. Mind that such missteps are the exception and not the rule. Great start. Great start. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. So we started by wasting an enemy and used... <sighs> Ian even got surprised. Great. Fine. Fine. We'll, we'll manage. We'll manage. Be gone, fiend! What about you? Can you do something useful? Not really. Okay, so you just head one step back. Please don't die on me. Okay, so everybody has had their turn. Does this do any damage to people? It does some damage to people. But I'm more interested in just killing them. Which didn't happen. Now, when it's the Plague Doctor's next turn, he should... You have two damage, but how much life? Six. I think it's actually safer to try to stun these two, even though they have some stun resistance. Okay, good. Not good. Okay, he's on death's door, and when it's his turn Entering next time, the he brink, dies. Facing yeah. the abyss. Okay, he's gonna die. That's unfortunate. But you know, stuff like Another that one falls. No? You're not dead yet. Why aren't you dead yet? Ah oh, well, whatever. Kill everybody. As the fiend falls. Or something. A faint hope blossoms. And we can't even reach the guy in the back. 
But you can heal this guy and also remove his blights. You still can't kill him. But you can at least remove all the corpses. Hello, dude. Time to die. Actually, I'm not really sure I want to use you. Let's move move back a bit. And you try to heal some more. And hopefully you can kill him and get some stress relief. Their formation is broken. No. Maintain the offensive. Well, it was a good try. And we can at least give you some food, so that's something. Okay, good. Start by using a key. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Okay, so we're not going down there because we're only interested in, in exploring the rooms. And you need to change location with him. And let's keep moving. Only three of them. Okay. I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. Okay, so let's try to stun her. Maybe even blight her a bit. Because you can't kill anybody. You might be able to actually kill her in one go. Let's try that. Decimated. Awesome. And you, what can you do? 6 to 11. I guess we can use this and try to stun him. But then we won't be able to do as much damage with the Leaper because he's not in position 1. But I'd say that's a good trade-off. And now you can... Actually, you can do damage to both of them. But yeah, you won't be able to kill them unless we use this one. So let's try to kill him. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Disadvantage. Okay, done. Give them no quarter. Didn't really get anything interesting. We are, after all, looking for deeds, and mainly deeds. Ridden what looks like stretch and tan human flesh. Can we use the medical herbs on this? No. Fine, let's just touch it. Steady. Oh, nice. Very nice. And there are no enemies in here, so we'll just skip on ahead. We get some more scouting done. That's awesome. You're not stealing from me, Omi. Glittering Good. gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Yeah, that's why we bring shovels. And now another battle. This will probably be the lost battle uh, for this episode. Probably might be able to do one more, depending on how how much time this takes. Who 
Okay, okay, okay. So what can we do? What can we do? This can make... Okay, so it only damages the resistant against bleed. You might be able to kill him. But probably not. I'm... I think I'm actually more interested in doing damage to both of the, these guys. A singular strike. That went well. Then do some damage against him. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. And I don't think he can. No, he can't do enough damage to this guy. That, that's fine. Do as much damage as you can. Is that a lot of bleeding? Two damage per for three rounds. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Uh, so what is vampiric spirits? Not sure and don't really care at this point actually. Um Both of these guys have had their turn. Obliterated. Guess we'll try to stun him again. How quickly the tide turns. And this guy is almost at his limits. That's not good. Actually, can we do damage to you? Two to three damage, and it will remove all the corpses. Actually, I'm good with that. And hopefully the man at arm can, arms can kill him next turn. There we go. Nice. Blow. That g gave him some stress relief as well. So there, I don't think that there's anything here with that we can actually do to help this guy. Guess we can try to heal people as much as possible, but we won't be able to heal the stress damage. This expedition at least promises success. Not really. I'd say it's going horrible. But we can at least head up here. I mean, it's one, two, three, four, five. Is it five? Yeah, five rooms, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're probably gonna have to look through at least eight of them. And if we check all these rooms, then we don't. Then we can at least avoid that fight. So I think we'll do that. I forgot the butter trap. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. I am actually tempted to abandon this mission. Simply because things are going so horrible. Yeah, I think I'll actually do that. These guys might get afflicted if I do. I don't know if that only happens if, um, you know, if you get 100 stress in, in battle or if, or if they get afflicted one even when you run away. Because I think this takes a lot of stress at our heroes. But yeah, first failed quest. Yeah. Regroup. Reassemble. Evil is timeless after all. Yeah, that didn't give us much. You 
Unique Mind. It's fine. I don't see any, any mention of getting afflicted. So that's good. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Oh well, this was bound to happen eventually. But yeah, I'm ending the episode here, and if you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't, and a comment down below. And if you want to see more daily content here from me, then please do subscribe. And I hope you guys have a good one, and thank you for watching.